Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. One of the most frequent questions I get is, what's an Augie? Well, the last two letters of my call sign are OG. So OG with an exclamation point uh, forms my logo for YouTube. And the reason is that it has to fit within a circle. And if I put my whole call sign in there, you can't see it. So it's OG. And followers of or subscribers to OG are Augies. Now, an Augie is also a Welsh pastry. So you could think of yourself either way. So today we have a question from George Ross, WG4J. And he asks this. I have an Alpha Delta four position switch that I would like to use to switch between radios, not antennas. Is there enough isolation in the device to safely have several radios connected while using one, sometimes at full legal power? The answer according to Alpha Delta is yes, you can do that. That is one of the use cases they mention in their uh, manual for that particular switch. You can use it to switch several radios to a single line and if you put another one back against it going the other way to switch to multiple radios or to switch to multiple antennas. So you've got this choice. Now note that if you do that you can use one radio at a time and one antenna at a time. It doesn't form a true matrix where you've got multiple radios, multiple antennas, and you can do a switchboard kind of thing to uh, uh, bring them together. So that's something to, to think about. Uh, those matrices that I mentioned uh, are not available commercially that I know of. Uh, however, you can use those two uh, Alpha Delta four position switches, which are built like tanks and priced accordingly. Uh, to do what you ask. Um, now I'd like to talk, uh, other people have thought about using other kinds of switches to do that same sort of thing. They've got one uh, multi-band antenna, you know, that covers just about everything. And there are antennas out there that cover HF up through two meters um, and want to use different radios with it. Unless you use an extremely sturdy construction like the Alpha Delta switch, it won't work. You'll be putting too much power, even though they're switched out and grounded, you'll be putting too much power into those other radios. Remember that the great miracle of radio is that you can transmit, say, 100 watts of power, and what is received at the other end is a microwatt, maybe even just a nanowatt, of power. And so the radios are built to be powerful going out and extraordinarily sensitive coming back in. And so if you use an ordinary switch, even though it's switched to the radio you're using, there will be enough leakage that it could damage the front ends of the other radios. Normally, I recommend that you uh, switch coaxes or have a separate system set up, like if you've got HF and then on the other side uh, VHF and UHF. But these Alpha Delta switches are, like I said, built and priced like a tank, uh, and you can use them any way that you want. You can get them from DX Engineering, Ham Radio Outlet, or direct from um, uh, Alpha Delta itself. Uh, they're a company that makes lots of things for radio, including antennas. Um, and in fact, uh, this last giveaway, we just sent one of those antennas to uh, the winner, Jesse, in uh, Minnesota. So there you have it. We're having another giveaway in the month of December. And here is how you can enter the giveaway. This is the giveaway. Don't worry, we'll get it wound up for you. This is an MFJ17754 uh, trapped antenna that does 20 and 40. 
Now, this was one of the antennas that I considered for use uh, in the reference station. However, it doesn't cover all of 40. It covers half. You can pick which half. You can see that I've got the uh, wire kind of coiled back on itself to shorten it. The 17754 comes deliberately too long, and so you have to uh, shorten it. And so they provide these little things with uh, uh, screws here that uh, attach the wires together. And you can use those um, to do your adjustments. Or you can just bend the wire back like I did there. This is made of bare copper. It has been outdoors for quite a while. It is in perfectly good working order. And this will be uh, giveaway number five. Giveaway number five. And so, here's how you enter. Send a postcard to Dave Kassler, KE0OG, PO Box 98, Ridgeway, Colorado, 81432. On your postcard, a QSL card, or a single sheet of paper in an envelope, give me your name, your call sign, and the address you would want to ship to if I draw your entry, and um, your phone number in case I have any questions. And uh, this could soon be yours. This thing is, although it works on 40, it's only 42 feet long instead of 66 feet long because you get a little bit of loading in the traps right here. Okay? That could be yours. If you would like to help uh, finance this channel and help me bring these videos to you, uh, you can look at ways that you can do that if you go to decastler.com slash support. And you might find something there that uh, fits perfectly for you. Until we next meet, 73.